for as long as I can remember, which is probably close to 20 years when I finished medical school, women were advised after menopause to take 1,200 or at least 1,000 milligrams of calcium every single day uh, because they needed it for their bones. But a recent study came out that showed that women who took calcium supplements actually had a higher risk of heart attacks. Now, what I believe that this is about is that we have only more recently started checking women's vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is absolutely critical to move calcium into bone where it's supposed to go. If women are vitamin D deficient, which indeed they are, because I find that all the time, that calcium probably instead of going into the bones, it ends up going into the arteries and calcifies the arteries, and we know that that happens. So what they are recommending right now is for women to have 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day from food or supplement. So you might need 1,000 milligrams of calcium if you have absolutely no calcium in your diet, but many women have a good amount in their diet. They may have yogurt, like a cup of yogurt is 300 milligrams of calcium, glass of milk, 300 milligrams, uh, cheese and stuff, and it adds up, and then all of a sudden they have almost 1,000. They may indeed not need the calcium supplement, and in fact, calcium through the diet is better absorbed into the bones than calcium through supplement. Calcium comes as calcium citrate, calcium carbonate. Calcium's a mineral. You know, and uh, it's not the issue of it being synthetic or not. It, it just seems to be probably better absorbed from food because there's protein with it and different things like that. What we do know about calcium and bone health, uh, because Joy and I are working on our book, The Menopause Metabolism, is that for adequate bone density, you actually need an adequate protein diet because our bones are actually composed of amino acids and protein and then we need calcium to fill the matrix. So it's all important, and that weight-bearing exercise, all of those things are very, very important for good bone density.